Theodore Roosevelt was born on October 27, 1858, at East 20th Street in New York City, to his mother, Martha Bullock, and his father, Theodore Roosevelt Sr. As a child, he contracted asthma, being homeschooled, and had a fascination of animals and insects. On September 27, 1876, young Roosevelt entered Harvard College, where he excelled in science, philosophy, and numerous activities. The unexpected death of his father in 1878 shocked Roosevelt, but didn't give up. He motivated to carry on his studies, eventually graduating from Harvard in 1880. The same year, he went back home in New York to pursue a career in law, however dropped out to partake towards politics, where he joined the Republican Party and also marrying his first wife, Alice Hathaway Lee. Then Roosevelt's young adult life were filled with accomplishments, like becoming part of the New York State Assembly in 1882, which he was re-elected twice, and his wife gave birth to their first child on February 12, 1884. But sadly, things went down from there. His mother passed away from typhoid fever, and 11 hours later, his wife died from Bright's disease, only two days after giving birth. Exacerbated by the loss of his wife and mother, Theodore left politics, settled a ranch, and moreover, turned into a western cowboy in North Dakota. In 1886, he returned back to New York, deciding to run as mayor of the city while married his second wife, Edith Caro, whom had five children. But sadly, his campaign as mayor failed when he lost to Abraham Hewitt by a margin, winning 41% of the votes from Roosevelt's 27%. Skip to 1897, Theodore was appointed the Assistant Secretary of the Navy by President William McKinley, but after a year in that position, he resigned and fought in the Spanish-American War. Leading a small cavalry unit known as the Rough Riders, Roosevelt bravely charged and suppressed the Spanish in San Juan Hill, receiving the award for Medal of Honor. Following the war, he emerged as governor of New York for a brief stint. Until March of 1901, he got elected as vice president. Just six months in the office as VP, President McKinley was assassinated by Leon Krugash, and Teddy was elected as the 26th President of the United States on September 14th, making the youngest president at only 42 years old. During his presidency, he played an important role in foreign and business politics, ins and outs of America. For instance, in 1906, he passed the Hepburn Act, where he gave the Interstate Commerce Commission the power to adjust railroad rails, the construction of the Panama Canal, the preservation of U.S. landscapes with the Antiquities Act, winning the 1904 presidential elections, earning him a second term, where he pledged to give Americans the square deal, aka the policy which every American would allow equal opportunity for their extra duties. Other policies like the Meat Inspection Act banning harmful chemicals to be embedded on meat products, the Food and Drug Act, and even ending the Russo-Japanese War by arbitrating a treaty between Russia and Japan, winning him a Nobel Peace Prize, becoming the first president and American to win that prestigious award. After staying eight years and serving two terms in office, Theodore Roosevelt resigned as president in 1909. Afterwards, he went to Africa as part of an expedition with the Smithsonian to hunt down animals for specimen research, collecting and displaying them in every American museum, including the Smithsonian, which he killed and trapped well over 1,400 animals. Ultimately, Teddy returned to the U.S. in 1910 because he wasn't impressed of how President William H. Taft run the country. Determined that he will not back down to a fight, he decided to run again as president for the 1910 elections by forming his own party, the Bull Moose Party. During one of his campaigns in Milwaukee on October 14, 1912, Roosevelt was shot by John Serenk, a salon keeper. Being badass Roosevelt, he refused to seek medical attention, instead delivered his speech for 90 minutes to the Milwaukee crowd. At the end of the elections, Roosevelt's 27% lost to Woodrow Wilson, sweeping him with 42% of the votes. He then conducted another expedition towards the jungles of Brazil in 1913 to catch new animal specimens to bring them into other museums. 
On January 6, 1919, at the age of 60, Theodore Roosevelt passed away from his sleep in Sagamore Hill. He was buried in Oyster Bay, New York. Theodore Roosevelt defined America to his diplomatic policies, badassery, conservatorism, and changing the political system helped him to be one of the greatest American presidents of all time, and his impact in society still lingers in the minds of Americans through this day. If you want to learn more about the Spanish-American War, be sure to click the video on the left, and if you want to check out my past videos, be sure to click the playlist on the right. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications, and comment below what historical videos do you want to see next, and also, if you want to check out um, my Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and all of the sources that I research about Theodore Roosevelt in this video, be sure to go to the description because I'll put a links, all of those in the description. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.